In this media, you are going to learn about various types of periodic surveys. For continued maintenance of class, the ships are subjected to periodical surveys based on the rules of the classification societies. This is mainly done for ensuring that the condition of the hull, machinery, equipment, and appliances adhere to the applicable rules. Following are the different types of periodic surveys. Class Renewal, Special Survey, Intermediate Survey, Annual Survey, Bottom or Docking Survey, Tail Shaft Survey, Boiler Survey, Machinery Survey, Additional Class Notational Survey, and Survey of Laid Up Ships. Class Renewal or Special Survey. This survey should be carried out at intervals of five years. In very exceptional cases, an extension not exceeding three months after the due date may be given by the Society. This postponement of renewal survey for retaining mandatory notation is usually considered only after a siting survey is carried out to confirm that the relevant construction or equipment is in satisfactory condition. Also, this postponement does not indicate that the postponement is liable to compromise with the safe operation of the ship. The survey may be commenced with the fourth annual survey and is to be completed by the fifth anniversary date. Extensive examinations are carried out to verify the aspects such as thickness of the ship's hull, substantial corrosion, deformations, fractures, damages, or structural deterioration. The main and essential auxiliary machinery and the related systems and equipment of the ship are also examined to check whether they satisfy the relevant rules. These examinations may be done visually or by way of measurements and tests as applicable for verifying the compliance of the applicable class rules. Necessary repairs ought to be carried out before the renewal survey. Classifications may accept and record the minor deficiencies found as a condition of class that is to be rectified within a period often not exceeding three months after the survey completion date. Annual Survey Annual surveys are to be carried out within the window period of three months before and three months after every anniversary date. This survey is done in order to verify that the general condition of the ship meets the class rule requirements. Hence, annual survey requires general assessment of the ship, including an inspection of the hull, equipment, and machinery. Postponement of annual surveys for retaining mandatory class notations is not permissible by a society. Machinery Survey Every ship must have in place a planned maintenance system, computerized or manual, as acceptable to the society. This system must ensure as follows. 1. Maintenance schedules are adhered to. 2. Inspections are carried out at the laid-down intervals. 3. Records of these activities must be maintained. Intermediate Survey This survey should be carried out within the window of three months before the second anniversary date to three months after the third anniversary date. This intermediate examination is carried out on the hull structure for verifying that the applicable rules are abided by. Considering the age, service, and type of the ship, the hull examination may be supplemented by thickness gauging, as mentioned in the rules and particularly if felt necessary by the attending surveyor. It also includes the inspection of machinery installations and equipment. This could be by way of visual examination, measurements, and tests as relevant for confirming that the corresponding class rule requirements are in compliance. Postponement of intermediate surveys for retaining mandatory class notations is not permissible by a society. 
On completion of the annual and intermediate surveys to the satisfaction of the surveyor, the certificate of class will be endorsed. This endorsement will mean that the ship is accepted for retention of the class assigned. No endorsement is permitted in cases of overdue conditions of class, overdue periodical surveys, and unsatisfactory completion of surveys. For overdue surveys related to non-mandatory notations, the certificate of class may be endorsed with the suspension of the said notation. Bottom or docking survey. This survey is also called in dry dock or in water survey. This is the survey of the outside of the ship's hull, in other words, below the deepest load waterline. If it is carried out in the dry dock, then it is named as docking survey. If the survey is done when the ship is afloat, then it is named as in-water survey, and it is permitted based on the age, type, service, and previous performance records of the ship. The outside of the ship's hull and the other structures that must be assessed, along with the hull survey, must be surveyed at least twice within the five-year period of validity in the Certificate of Class. The interval between two successive bottom surveys is not to exceed 36 months. One of these surveys is to be carried out not more than 15 months before the expiration date of the Certificate of Class. For passenger ships, the bottom surveys are required to be done annually. In passenger ships, the interval between two successive bottom surveys should not exceed 15 months. During the five-year period of validity of the Certificate of Class, two successive in-water surveys can be permitted if at least two surveys are carried out with the ship in dry dock. Additional Class Notation Survey These may not have particular survey stipulations. In that case, the constructions or equipment as related to these additional notations need to be examined during every renewal survey to the satisfaction of the attending surveyor's satisfaction. Tailshaft Survey This survey may be complete or modified or partial and includes the inspection of the stern bearing. At intervals of five years, with a window period of plus or minus three months, Tailshaft survey should be carried out for the following tailshafts. 1. Continuous corrosion-resistant metallic liner. 2. Shaft of corrosion-resistant material. 3. Shaft with specially approved protection arrangement. This survey can also be carried out on the tail shafts with non-corrosion resistant material without continuous liner and subject to seawater. This must be done at intervals of two years and six months with a window period of plus or minus six months. Boiler survey. The interval of boiler surveys is two years and six months with a window period of plus or minus six months. This survey should be carried out on the following boilers. Auxiliary boilers, main boilers less than 8 years old, and water tube boilers more than 8 years old, where two boilers will be provided for main propulsion. For water tube boilers with age more than 8 years, where one boiler is provided for main propulsion, the interval of survey is one year, with a window period of plus or minus three months. Survey of ships laid up Usually, ships which had been laid up for equal to or more than 12 months are required to be surveyed before they are permitted re-entry into service. During this period of layup, a less stringent version of the annual survey covering watertight integrity bilge system, fire hazards, and equipment in use must be carried out. 
The extent of these surveys will be decided based on the following. The period for which the ship had been laid up. The maintenance measures adopted during layup. The extent of surveys or inspections carried out during this period of layup. A sea trial for testing the functionality of the machinery must be carried out. It may be noted that in lieu of the above periodical surveys, most societies permit alternative survey arrangements, in other words, by the system of continuous survey of hull and machinery. Thus, we have learned about the various types of periodic surveys.